Hey guys, Rob Shoecraft here with Restorm Fitness. And uh, today I'm going to do a relatively short video on three, maybe four pieces of gym equipment that you absolutely do not need, but you might want to consider buying anyway. Okay, if I was, if I was giving, if somebody asked me what piece of gym equipment do I need to start a home gym or for my commercial gym or whatever, these would not be in the top 10. All right, but if they asked me if they should buy them, just kind of on, in an isolated question, I would say yes, absolutely. They're fantastic, okay? And all these things are under $100. And I use them every week, I'd say every week at least. Okay, so let's start in no particular order with Indian clubs. Now, I think I've done reviews of all the products I'm going to talk about. Indian clubs, though. All right, these goofy things that are all the rage and everybody wants to do them. Of course, they've been all the rage for like 2,000 years or something like that. There's a reason they've stuck around. They are fantastic. Uh, my buddy Ryan Minnie, he um, swears by them. And he said, you got to buy them. You got to get them. They're, they're really, they're, they're not overrated. Um, and he's, he was absolutely right. Thank you, Ryan, for recommending them. Um, these here are Garage Fit. They're just like plastic, I think maybe polypropylene. Um, they're also great weapons, if that's your thing. In fact, I think that's what they were originally made for. Sorry, my camera just glitched. These are the steel versions um, that Audit makes. These are five pounders. Those, by the way, were one pounders. Steel, also very nasty weapons. Um, and of course, they make the, like the more the huge, like bowling pin-looking traditional wooden ones. I do not have a set of those. Those are usually between one and three pounds. These get really like stupid heavy. I want to say, I don't even want to guess, but I know they get up to at least fifteen pounds. Uh, five pounds is enough for me for what I do. In fact, most of the time, I'm using these these one pounders. Um, what I mainly do with them, first of all, they could be a great like. Uh, uh, um, accessory lift for like your shoulders or upper back. Like I, sometimes I do these like nasty like complexes where I'm going forward and back and then I you know go through this range of motion and I do these and I go back and I just like do like 200 reps in a row and my shoulders are just completely smoked afterwards. Shoulders by the way and upper back muscles tend to respond pretty well to real high volume. But uh, for the most part, what I usually use them for is in my warm-up, both before I start pressing or, or heavy pulls, and uh, sometimes in the middle of sets. I'll do this to kind of just keep the blood move, moving, get my uh, range of motion, uh, kind of work out any sort of sticking points, kinks in the shoulders. Man, they are absolutely fantastic for it. Um, this right here is my go-to exercise. Start here, bring it around, lock out, bring it through, overhead extension. I'll do like 25 of those before I'm, I'm about to press. And my shoulders, I, I hate to say it, but it's even better than my beloved bands. Band pull apart variations, dislocates, that sort of thing. Even better than scarecrows. Indian clubs, if you have a pair, you got 40 bucks to spare, you have shoulder problems, get, get a set. Just get a one pound set and they will do, they will, they really, they're miracle workers. I absolutely love them. Um, if you can't tell, I'm super excited right now. Please don't look at my shorts. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? Okay. Landmines. Landmines are not as, uh, they are not quite as, I guess, unique as they once were. Although I still run into plenty of people who are pretty well established lifters who have never even, they don't even know what I'm talking about. You probably see these little things in a gym. If you got like a nice power rack, you can probably see them mounted on the side. Something like this. This little landmine post. This is a, this is a Black Widow training uh, landmine grappler, core grappler, or something. There's a million exercises you can do with a landmine. I also have one over here that I really recommend. Um, I think you can see that. That's one, if you have one of these pipes, 
right? For for safety, um, you in, in your power rack, you can put it on here and it, it locks it in, and you can adjust the height, and it's fantastic. Um, the reason I recommend them, kind of twofold. One, ah, threefold. They're cheap, right? This is probably one of the more expensive models. I think Hammer Strength probably has the nicest, most expensive one, and racks to like an HD Elite. But um, for the most part, they're pretty cheap. This is a Black Widow one. I don't know, 50 bucks, somewhere, something like that. Uh, Titan makes them for even cheaper, and they work fine. I have a couple of them. I use them to make my uh, I use them to make my, my Hurricane landmine configuration, that, her, her, that Sword X Hurricane knockoff. I did my power rack. I'll link to that video if you really want to get into the weeds with landmines. I, I, I've, gone, I've gone real deep. I've taken the, the red pill with landmines. But for most of us, basically the great thing about them, not only are they cheap, but they're so, so versatile. You get a landmine, you get one of these little posts, you throw it in a, you know, a 45 pound plate or 100 pound plate in this case. Throw the barbell. And I know you guys have probably seen landmines. You probably use them, but just for those who don't know, now you have you've, you've at least doubled all your exercises that you can do with a barbell. Like, and it's and it's closer to that machine feel, right? That fixed plane. But you can also work in the transverse plane with one of these. You know, if you want this classic. You know, oblique, transverse abdominus workout. But you can also do tons of different pressing variations, row variations. You got 60 million different landmine attachments that just go right on the end that unlock just an unlimited amount of exercises. So if you're just looking for versatility, especially with like bodybuilders at the home gym or something, for a very, very cheap investment, you can quadruple your exercise selection. And then lastly, last, kind of along the same lines, but we all have days where we just have some sort of nagging injury, right? Like shoulders, for instance, huge, they're stuck on the Indian clubs. Because in the Indian clubs, you can't work out that shoulder problem. You don't want to hurt yourself, but you don't want to skip your workout either, right? Landmines tend to open up uh, very joint-friendly options, okay? So... If you have a Viking press attachment and you want to do like a bilateral press, that's great. If you don't, you can still work unilateral presses. I have people with terrible shoulder issues going heavy on these things, relatively heavy, and they don't have any problems at all. You can control the range of motion. You're pushing in a diagonal rather than straight vertical for folks who you know can't do this or it hurts when they do this. You know, if you're having a bad day and you want to, you want to, you want to. You don't want to skip your workout, you want to do something else. Landmine's your best option. Um, or at least it's a great best option for the price. Squats, same thing. Um, do landmine squats, load a few 45s on here or whatever it is that's challenging for you. Squat down, come back up. Now, of course, it's not quite the same as like a back squat. Um, but if you're having back problems that day and you still want to get, you know, stimulate the legs. Excuse me, and, and work that movement pattern. Landmines, best buddy. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about. We'll get a little, a little wackier here. This is my big race strap. It's for Spud makes it. It's for inversion, for like spinal traction, hip health, all that stuff. If you like hanging upside down, this guy's your buddy. You could also use like a yoga swing. I've used those two. I don't have them, but I've used those two. They're very, very similar. Um, I like this one. It's just, I've done a review on it before. Um, Donnie Thompson, Super D, he, he's, he's got a ton of great stuff. He, I think watching one of his videos is, is the reason I pulled the trigger on one of these. And um, I don't think he uses this specifically, but he uses basically something that's exactly like this. And you can hang upside down. In this case, I like to put, I like to, usually when I use it, I, 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 uh, I like to come back on my shoulders, put my shoulders on the floor, if you can see this. Right, so I put this on my upper back, I go down, and I do all sorts of different 
things with my hips. You know, I'll extend my hips, fire my glutes, then relax, drop into that position, fire my, you know, so like uh, P and F type stuff to really open up the hips, open up the back. You can do like, you know, um, egg scramblers if you're like, uh, it's a common jujitsu exercise, right? You can do single leg egg scramblers to really work the glute needs and, the, and your, your, your hip mobility. Um, if you want, there's all sorts of exercises. If you want, you can shorten this strap. Comes with the strap. This is actually a different one that I'm using here. It's a longer one. Because again, I like to have my shoulders on the ground most of the time. But if you want to just completely hang Batman style, all that traction on the spine, you can do that too. In fact, that's what most people probably use it for. Um, whenever I, I can, I, I'm able to work out almost all my back and hip problems. Those little nagging issues that I have, uh, from, you know, doing a heavy squat program or whatever. I'm, I'm able to kind of stay ahead of recovery. This is one of my, I just watched a video by Dan John. He was talking about if you're going to splurge on, on, on training, splurge on recovery items. If you want to buy some goofy, you know, thing, you know, one of those lights you hook up to your, 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 your package to boost your testosterone, spend your money on, on, the, on the wild stuff that's going to help for recovery. This is one, this is a splurge item that actually returns dividends. I can't recommend some sort of device that's going to help with inversion enough. Some of you might not believe in the inversion thing or whatever, that's totally fine. I don't, I don't really care, but it works real well for me and I will, I will uh, scream its praises to the day I die. And then lastly, I'll just throw these in. I know a lot of people are familiar with these. Um, fat grips. Fat grips are fat grip knockoffs. You can make your own if you want to using like uh, pipe insulation. I've seen people do that. It works fine. Some version of a fat grip. Okay. If you want to strengthen your forearms or if you're having, um, if you're doing bench press or some sort of, some sort of press and you want to, uh, you have elbow problems, usually a fatter grip will really help alleviate the stress from your elbow. So to get a bigger a bigger grip just because usually okay if you want to get stronger <laughs> one of the most surefire ways to, to do that is to get a stronger grip it kind of just helps everything um, so you can start switching out exercises with the fat grips you just open these things up put them on this is just on a, what, a 15 pound dumbbell and now you got I love like I love fat grip hammer curls to really grow the forearms um, but like I said, you can do it with anything. You can do factor of deadlifts if you want to. It basically gives you, it's not a one-to-one -one substitute for an axle bar, but it's a, it's a nice, cheap, portable alternative to that. And uh, they're fantastic. Like I said, you don't have to get, these are actual fat grips. You don't have to get actual fat grips. You can get knockoffs or you can make your own. But having some type of fat grip in your gym really, really pays off. All right, guys, I hope that helps you out. Let me know what your favorite little uh, equipment is that you don't need but, but, but you swear by. Um, I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to, love to buy it and try it out myself. Uh, let me know in the comments. Subscribe to this channel if you like videos like this. And uh, have a great day. Thanks a lot, guys.